processing and gdpr so processing again like uh, what 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 do we mean by processing right so uh, that's what it says i'm not going to read the uh, entire slide so what essentially it means is if you're collecting recording storing or doing any kind of processing um, of the data that you collect um, and that means uh, you are processing this data so you are uh, coming under this um, rule and then the second one is what is personal data in this case right so anybody who lives in the europe uh, in union uh, that's 20 plus uh, countries that we talked about and then uh, name any kind of identification number and their location um, and even their online unique IDs, right? They, they have like, maybe they may be a YouTube user or like uh, any kind of uh, information related to their online, the Facebook user IDs and whatnot, right? Anything that you're collecting about them, uh, along with that, you might be collecting some uh, other information, which includes all the physical, uh, physiology, all the things that are listed here, then it becomes personal data. That means you are naturally, obviously coming under the scope. So there are certain data set which are considered highly sensitive uh, within GDPR including the <clears throat> mental um, and the other type of information right the health related information so definitely you know you need to be extra careful uh, when you're collecting and processing that kind of information again uh, two more terms uh, we um, we learned about processing, we learned about personal data, and then the controllers and processors, right? Um, these, uh, the, the, these four terms kind of determine, so when you typically have discussion with your partners, like customers, stakeholders, uh, these are like some of the things that they will be talking about. So you wanna make sure that you understand them correctly. So controllers, again, <clears throat> controller is anybody who determines um, the purposes and means of processing the personal data. Say, for example, um, um, I am I'm having a social network. Let's say uh, I uh, data breakers on a social networking platform, and then like uh, we are collecting information. Like we have a form registration form where we collect name, I, address, and date of birth and stuff. About and this uh, person happens to be in Europe. Then I determine how I want to process that why I am collecting it and what I'm going to do with that. So I'm kind of initiating the collection, right? So that's why I become the controller of the data and also I'm the, the custodian of the data, right? So that's the controller. So, and then uh, here in this case, processor is anybody who's doing the processing for me. In this case, like let's say my <coughs> social networking platform is hosted on Azure or Amazon Web Services and what Google. Right. So then they are basically processing my data. So the uh, processing, the processes need to comply with this GDPR requirement as well. So that's what it means, the controllers and the processors. So controller is the one who's kind of initiating um, the whole thing. Um, and then processor is somebody like who's basically processing the data. For more information, click on the link below or visit databrackets.com.